So I was able to push the stator a bit further down and it spun more freely. I don't quite understand how that worked and it sort of makes a clicking sound now if you really push on it. Um, so I'm not quite sure what's going on there but I also found that if I just take this other rotor and offset it to the other pole it adds about two millimeters to the spacing um, but it allows it to spin freely which is nice. Um, and I was able to spin this up so I'm going to give that a go right now and uh, show how it works. Um, this is obviously the worst possible setup and I'll improve that next. Um, but you can see here that it spins. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read that. Okay, well, I'll just spin it. Yeah, that's moving and vibrating quite a bit, so I'm not going to rev that up like at all. But you can see that it works. And I did this earlier in a little bit more controlled setup where I could hold it better. And uh, it pulled about 0.3 amps spinning at the lowest setting, which I don't think is great. Um, but just starting to see what it can do. Alright, well, I'll share more soon. Hope you like it.